Ready? Right. Right, have you seen um, today's Echo um, dated Thursday the 23rd of November? It states uh, the front page is seven landlords can vote to limit our council powers. Yeah. So you've got seven councillors are, are trying to sabotage regulation against private landlords. Yeah. So, for example, if a landlord withdraws your services like your gas, electricity, or hot water, they would lose their license and they would be shut down. But you've got seven. Uh, councillors and um, seven uh, councillors and seven private landlords trying to sabotage this regulation and the seven councillors are the uh, Mayor of South End Council, Faye Evans, Faye Evans, who's a Conservative. The second councillor is a uh, Leslie Salter, Conservative, which is her responsible uh, for health and safety. Third is Roger Hadley, Conservative councillor, who's also a private landlord. The other one is Stephen Harbinell, Conservative, you know, stopping uh, regulation of private landlords by uh, carrying out inspections on property and carrying out uh, standards on standards of property. Uh, we have a f uh, number six Conservative councillor is a Floyd Walterworth. And our seventh uh, councillor is a Helen Boyd Conservative. You have these seven Conservative councillors trying to sabotage uh, regulation. You know, like um, you know, like I said, like regulations. Uh, you know, the standard of uh, properties. So basically, if someone was forced into like a, a rundown bed and breakfast. Um, the council wouldn't bother carrying out inspections and when the landlords would really be shut down they'd still be operating so you know they're trying to sabotage uh, regulation um, yeah the council is trying to water down uh, sabotage inspections the standards of property so for example if a landlord here if I show you here if you can go in here and if you can film this for example, there's no hot water. I've got no hot water. Uh, this has been like this for uh, off and on for about six months. Yeah. Now this is illegal. For a landlord to withdraw your services is totally illegal. That is at least illegal to do that. That's not only is it a civil offence, it's a criminal offence. Yeah. So we've got a landlord withdrawing services. Also, there's a leak in the basin that hasn't been sorted out. Uh, Withdrawal of hot water. I've got no hot water. You've also got a state of I mean this window has been like this ever since I moved here. I moved on here the 28th of November 2016 None of the repairs to the window has been carried out And um, what you've got is seven conservative... Tara, Tara Ball, wasn't it mate? No, no, what? Tara Ball and John Brazil, they, they did come out, they did do inspections, they did do... Yeah, but they didn't do due, nothing, did they? Yeah, they, give them credit where credit's due, they came out, done an inspection... Yeah, but they didn't do nothing? They didn't follow it up, no, yeah, no. they didn't follow it up. No action. And, but they did carry out inspections, give them their credit where credit's due. There weren't no action though, was there? No, there wasn't no action, but give credit where credit oh, due. Yeah. They did carry out an inspection. Well, I want to mention uh, the again, council. about the, this bit, seven was time as yeah, well. Yeah, seven get conservative councillors, you know, they're trying to sabotage uh, this regulation where, you know, landlords would lose their license if the property was run down. Uh, example, you know, like self evident, like this place. If it was run down, it, it would be shut down, yeah. For example, look, look at that, you've got uh, on there, if you look above there, you've got all cracked, the ceilings virtually falling down. You've got, uh, you've got uh, a window which has been, you know, smashed. It needs to be properly repaired. All they've done is put a bit of silver, you know, what's this silver stuff? They've put all around here, you, you can see it's self-evident. Yeah, you know, silver tape. It, 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 silver tape, you know, silver tape, it, you know, it needs to be repaired properly. Uh, well, so the, with this window here, this rattles, it's got, it's got no proper lock on it, it's held up by a piece of paper and um, two bits of wooden wooden, uh, wooden bits. Um, you know, the, the, 
you know, where you're living in a uh, run-down property, there should be uh, proper inspections and um, there should be, you know, there should be proper regulation regarding private landlords. And what you've got is a conflict of interest. Yeah, you've got seven conservative councillors. Not only are they councillors, they are also private landlords. So there's a conflict of interest. And where there's a financial interest, I thought that they were barred from voting. Where there's like a conflict of interest, these seven councillors should be barred from voting. They should be allowed to vote. What you got is them lining their own pockets, yeah. basically. These seven yeah, councillors, yeah, yeah. these seven conservative councillors, are trying to water down so like people like me are forced to live in run down bed and breakfasts. Yeah. 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 But um, I think it's totally, you know, it's totally wrong. I mean, the council has no power. These these seven councillors, these seven conservative councillors, are trying to sabotage yeah. um, the council from carrying out their duties. You know, like to, you know. They're taking. I mean, they're making. They're it, taking control, aren't they? They take these seven councillors, and they make the to, They're going to try and run down, um, push, walt, push walt, the council aside. Yeah, they're going to try to water down um, inspections, water down so people will be living in like run-down bed and breakfasts, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I'm living in now. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, there's uh, none of the things. You know, the repairs haven't been carried out. I mean. Uh, John Brazell said that the window would be carried out, it, uh, repairs would be carried out. No repairs have been carried out. Given it to you, he's carried out inspection. Yeah, he's carried out three inspections, but nothing's been done. You know, these repairs should all be carried out. Nothing, no, none of these repairs have been carried out. You got there, I've got no hot water. You know, and this here, if I can show you again, Steve, this here, I've got no hot water. There's a leak in the basin. Yeah, there's a leak coming down this bucket there and I'm forced to live in these condi conditions because these seven conservative councillors are, are saying it's okay to live in these conditions no it's not okay so I think I've covered everything yeah yeah it's a complete joke yeah complete joke. but um, I thought it was illegal for a landlord uh, to withdraw uh, check on your paper and see if yeah. you've covered everything uh, I thought it was illegal for a landlord to withdraw services. I thought it was totally illegal for a landlord to withdraw services. I thought that was a criminal offence for a landlord to uh, withdraw services. But in South End, they seem to think it's okay for a landlord to withdraw services. So you've got no, no services. You know, no like no hot water. Uh, you know, it's very cold in, in the winter time with this winter air cracks and, and this rattles when it's a windy. This uh, window rattles here, but um, yeah, I think um, a landlord should lose his license if, if the landlord uh, withdraws your services. The landlord should look, and you, you've got these conservative councillors trying to, these seven councillors, these, uh, these conservative councillors, not only are they conservative councillors, they're private landlords and they're trying to sabotage regulation. So, people like me are forced to live in run down bed yeah. and breakfasts. That's it. I think we've covered everything, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Quite a nice one. That's it. Nice one.